Good morning. Even video in it. Okay, I'm just rambled for like 10 minutes and wasn't even videoing, so I'm about to be a trick for this, so I'll re say what I just said in just a second. Okay, um, so I was uh, videoing. Or I thought I was videoing, and I was just talking away about being inspired. <laughs> and <laughs> I wasn't even recording, so that's good. Um, what I was saying was, I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel on and off for two years, probably. And I was always very, like, not... Not that I wasn't inspired because there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to do and I love watching people like one of my favorite person people to watch um to vlog is Megan her vlog channel is La Vida de, de Meg La Vida de Meg and I love watching her vlogs I love watching her decorate her house. I just think it's so interesting. And also another person I like watching vlog is Jen Denault. And um, she's actually from Louisiana too, which I thought that was really cool. She was from New Orleans and she moved to Los Angeles and then she just moved to Tennessee, which I'm telling you everything about her life because I'm a weirdo. But um, it's just very interesting to watch people vlog to me. And I think that are, I think we're funny, we might not be funny at all, but I think that we are, and I don't know, I just think it's so interesting, and I've always been worried about what other people think, or there's too many people on YouTube, or I don't know, I just always thought about those things, and um, we just moved from moved from Louisiana to South Dakota and then we moved from South Dakota to Indiana and I just got a part-time job like just now we've been here for like almost two months and I don't know I'm bored I sit at home all day my job is from two to six so I haven't even started it yet I just got the job and I have to go to an orientation tomorrow and then I'll start tomorrow afternoon but just working and just I don't know it I'm not gonna have a full-time job I, I don't know I don't have any friends I'm bored like not trying to like reach out for help or friends or nothing right now like that. I have friends they just don't live here so I don't know Um, can I get a number three 12 count with a sweet tea? Perfect. Any sauce for you? Uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay. And Anything else today? Yes. Can I also get um, a number two spicy deluxe? Okay. Uh, with half sweet tea and half lemonade. With half sweet tea, half lemonade. Yep. All right. And that'll be 1659 today. We'll serve you the window. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Anyway, um, so, what was I oh, so I was, somebody that I watch on YouTube is Laura Lee, and she's also from the South, which I love, um, she's from Alabama, and, which, nobody likes Alabama football, but, you know, that's just me, um, so, starting a YouTube channel and basically inspiring people to start a YouTube channel if you if you want to like you freaking do it like that's basically what she said she said there's gonna be a lot of work she said that there is gonna be you can't just put up a video and like one video and expect it to take off immediately like you're gonna have to work your ass off and I'm fine with that I'm fine with working my ass off that part doesn't bother me and she was like people are gonna talk bad about you people are going to but nasty comments, people are going to do like whatever they want to do because people are people and that's just going to happen. But if you have thick skin, you can do it. 
two years later, she just put up a video, probably not that long ago, um, like maybe a couple months or so, maybe like a month, maybe, I don't know, but she put up a video, and it was just a, a question and answer video, hold on just a second, I'm about to get my food, anyway, um, she put a video up, and it was just a question and answer video, and she was, uh, talking about, uh, starting a YouTube channel, one of the questions was about starting a YouTube channel, I don't exactly remember what the exact question was, but she talked about how a lot of people always say, oh, there's already so many people on YouTube, like, there's not enough room for everyone, and she talked about, hey, the pampered pooch, that's kind of cool, it says mobile pet spa, huh. that's kind of cool, anyway, she talked about how she thought that there was plenty of room for everyone and that more people that make YouTube videos means there's going to be people, if you're genuinely yourself and people can relate to you, that if you're going to get followers and you're going to get people who enjoy your videos and it's just, it's going to be like okay. And also, the more people that you have that enjoy your videos means that there's going to be more people that are on YouTube and there's going to be more people for other people to relate to. Like there's going to be more viewers that will relate to other YouTubers as well. So the more people that put videos on YouTube means that there's going to be more people on YouTube which means there's going to be more viewers. And now that sounds really freaking confusing the way I just explained that because I explained it way better the first time but I wasn't recording. So, I really thought that, that was awesome that she said that because, I don't know, I, it just super inspired me and so I put up my first YouTube video and I'm super nervous. It has five views, which I'm pretty sure one of them is my mom, so I mean, it doesn't really count, but I don't know, I, and I have two subscribers, which one is Colby and I'm pretty sure the other one is my mom, so does that, it doesn't even freaking count, but um, yeah, so, I don't know, I just, I'm not, I just want to do it, I want to try, and if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out, and I'll do something else, I'll try something else, but, I went on a huge rant on a video that I made, which I actually deleted, was talking about how, like, school is not my thing, it's never been my thing, I've always hated that, I like to do things, I like to be hands-on, I like to... I don't know, I just like to do stuff. <laughs> so, it was just very, I don't know, it was, it just sucks because a lot of people are like, you, you gotta get your degree, and you gotta get a job that, not only do you have to get your degree and be like $20,000 in debt when you get done with it, then you also have to get a job that you enjoy. And I said, um, pretty much cleaned on the whole house, so I feel a lot better now. I'm about to probably have to go to Walmart because, oh Jesus, um, I have the gift that I got for Colby's niece won't fit in one of the bags, any of the bags that I have, and how's he doing? Being anxious. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants her to squeak the toy right by him. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just really wants him to play, baby. You want a Capri some? No, I'm okay. You don't want a Capri some? No, I don't want a Capri some. I want some wine. Where's that from? Probably in. Huh? Do you get some more tissue paper to put in those bags? Anyway, so I'll talk to the Walmart for it. I have to get his. I'm not talking to you. I have to get his uh, niece a bag that will fit her gift in because it's the art book is like really big. And then also I have to get more tissue paper to put in the bags that I already have with presents in them because I ran out of tissue paper. Set. That's what I'm going to go do at Walmart. And I'm also going to get some wine, as you just heard, because I want some wine. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to go to Walmart.
also, by the way, this candle that I got, this wine candle, um, smells amazing in here. Um, I have it burning right now on my coffee table. It smells amazing. It smells up the whole room. And, um, also, it burns really slow, so I think that's a really good thing. Because if it's smelling up my whole room and it's burning extremely slow, I mean, it's going to last a long time, and $12.99 was totally worth it for two candles. So, if you have an Aldi near you, go get those for two candle sets, because they smell amazing. They smell up your whole living room, and kitchen, and hallway and they freaking last forever so i think it's a good investment i have been listening the whole time i was cleaning i was listening to the book the what's it called hold on let me just see hold on just a second okay it's called the art of the subtle art of not giving a fuck beautiful book. I mean, I think I'm only on chapter three, but so far, beautiful. I could, seriously, he touches on every piece of psychological, emotional, and any, like, just physical, any problems that are causing people to act the way that they're acting today in this world, and what's wrong with it, and why you should, as he says, not give a shit or don't try. Um, it just makes so much sense. So, so far it's a book that I, my aunt actually put on Instagram, said it was a really, really good book. So, I had downloaded Audible and they did the free trial. And I am really, I'm not into listening to books because I don't, oh, my mind wanders and I don't pay attention unless I'm doing something. So while I was cleaning, I listened to it, but I wouldn't be able to sit here on the couch and listen to an, a book. I could sit here on the couch and read a book with it physically in my hands. Um, I also don't like to read off of computer screens unless I absolutely have to, like a, an actual book. Like I would never be able to get a Kindle. Like it's not interesting to me at all to read a book on a kindle i'd rather have the book like physically in my hand and read it so but since i downloaded audible and got a 30 day, 30 day free trial my trial just ended so i canceled it but I, before i canceled it it said i still had one more um credit uh, that I could use so I decided I just happened to see it on there which I would have never thought to look it up but I just happened to see it on the little suggestions so I clicked on it and bought that book with my one credit and then canceled my subscription <laughs> which seems really crappy but um man it is it is crazy it really is it's a good book I'm very happy uh about it so yeah that was really weird the way I just said that um even though I got distracted sorry so I'm about to go to Walmart and get some wine and I'm probably gonna cook something hi guys it's freezing outside it's not really that cold outside it's like 45 degrees but the wind is blowing and it's like wet and rainy outside so oh. I am headed to the Walmart to get some peach milk and wine uh, can't wait to drink some wine I will probably drink wine and play Rocket League tonight yes that's what I want to do tonight before I have to start my job and have no more freedom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, my job's like from like 2 to 6, so it's not a big deal. But I do have to wake up early in the morning and go to whatever it's called. The new hire orientation. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And then I start my job tomorrow afternoon. So probably won't have a ton of time to vlog but I'm gonna try like maybe a 
chatty get ready for the speed bug or something like that. I don't know. Something, something along those lines because to me, like when you're just sitting in front of a camera, like even if you're just sitting in front of the camera, if you're like just doing something, it still counts as a vlog, right? I mean, um, Nicole Guerrero did it. <laughs> so, okay. My phone's about to die and it's freaking cold. So, I will see you guys when I get back to the house. I actually forgot to get an extra bag for Colby's niece. So, I just concealed the gift very well with tissue paper in a bag. So, anyway, I'm probably about to ask Colby if he wants to play Rocket League. And that'll be it. I'm drinking wine. And go to bed.
bed early, hopefully. So, see you guys later. So, I was going to end the vlog, but then I thought to myself, I kind of want some popcorn. But me and Colby have never bought popcorn, like bag popcorn, because we've never owned a microwave. But we do now. But we don't still don't have like popcorn that's in the bag yes, but we do somewhere have a popcorn that you put on the stove so I was gonna make it so let me see if I can find it So basically I'm probably going to end the vlog with butchering this Jiffy Pop. I've never used one of these before, um, so let's read the directions. There are no directions. That might be a problem. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me really look at this thing. To open, gently lift tab and pull on down the lung. So I guess I'm supposed to. I'm really confused. Hold on, Jerry, for a second. Let me put you in here. So I thought this was gonna be like super cool, awesome idea. Hold on, let me turn the kitchen light on. So I thought this was gonna be a super awesome, fun idea, but I'm really not sure how this works. So. I don't know if I'm supposed to open it first. I don't want to open it if I'm not supposed to open it. Because then I'm not going to be able to use it and then I'm not going to be able to eat any popcorn. <laughs> so I'm going to take it off. And I'm, I'm going to pray that um, there's directions on the inside. Oh, okay, good. Uh, okay, I got it. Alright, so, look, here's the directions. So we are going to s medium low. Oops. Place pan on burner when it sizzling down, it's heard. Continuously shake pan very fast. Circular and back and forth motion until full is fully expanded. Immediately remove pan from burner when popping noises almost stop. Popcorn will scorch if left on the burner. Carefully open with fork to release hot steam. Serve and enjoy. This is what it looks like now. I feel. Do not remove this tab. Follow all directions. Okay. Well, let me just. I'm not supposed to. I'm going to just peel this paper along this dotted line right here because. Um, this paper makes me nervous. I don't want it to catch on fire. Okay. So. Place pan, get gas range or camp stove, set flame medium low. Electric range, preheat for three or four minutes on a medium high setting. So I'm just going to do it on like six and I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it I'm gonna also while I'm letting this warm up go tell Colby that I'm making it because he might want to be in here so I'll just say like, okay I told Colby that it was in here so this is warming up pretty quickly um I'm gonna actually put it on seven I don't want to turn the, the vent on but I'm not going to because it's gonna be extremely loud in here Okay, so I'm supposed to just set this on there and I have to like move it back and forth. I have to wait for that to heat up for like three or four minutes. So, I'll see you back in a minute. Have you guys ever made this stuff? Because I feel like I'm totally going to butcher it. If we've made this, it's kind of... 
it says that it is as much fun to make as it is to eat, but I'm feeling like it's probably not going to be as much fun to make as it is to eat. If I have to do this for two or three minutes, my arms can get tired. Jesus. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. All right. I'm going to wait for Colby to get in here because... You can see it, JV Moon, he's setting up Game of Thrones to play. We're gonna watch another Game of Thrones episode. Wait for him to get in here. Ready? It's 73 in here with no air. I don't know if I'm <laughs> doing this right or not, but. You don't have to shake it super fast. It says shake it immediately remove pan from burner when popping. So oh, it says continuously shake pan in very fast circular back and forth motions. Yeah. Yeah. We have popcorn. 